Hello and welcome to a brand new on Source World unboxing. I know I've been away for a while, just been on hiatus trying to get those creative juices flowing again. When finally, these two pre orders, which I've had for a while, I think one of them at least has been out in terms of pre orders for like over a year now. Um, the Boss Fight Studios, Hero Hacks, Flash Gordon line, Ming the Merciless, and Flash Gordon himself, based on the Alex Raymond designs. Now, I'm not familiar with Boss Fight Studios. I'm not familiar with Hero Hacks or their originator line Vitruvian Hacks, which are highly articulated 4-inch scale character kits with um, interchangeable parts, accessories, and they're meant to be like extremely articulated with like uh, knee swivels, thigh swivels, all that kind of stuff, uh, which sounds really exciting. Like I'm really, really um, interested in that kind of, uh, I guess, toy design. But what drew me to these, what even got my eye on Boss Fight Studios to begin with, is that I'm a huge fan of Flash Gordon. At least the original Alex Raymond comic strips, which I think are just perfect comic artistry and storytelling. They're just pure expression of pulp, heroic science fantasy. And uh, like, I just love everything Flash Gordon, at least in some way except for the Dynamite comic book series, which I think is abominable. Like, I like the original Sunday strips. I like some of the later Sunday strips. I like the cartoons. Uh, at least I appreciate some of the cartoons. Uh, the 80s movie I enjoy. It's not my favorite. I know that's the big pop cultural touchstone for a lot of people. The 80s film, fine film. It's perfectly entertaining, but it's not my favorite encapsulation of Flash Gordon, to say the least. I even like that sci-fi channel TV series from 2004, which took heavy liberties and was basically a ripoff of Smallville. But in general, like really fantastic merch of Flash Gordon, especially this era, is hard to come by. So when these were announced, I, I jumped on them, I pre-ordered them immediately. And after a long wait, they're finally here. So let's get these unboxed and see what's going on. Now, first off, I want to mention this impeccable packaging. We have this window box here, but also this incredible art with the Flash Gordon uh, King's Comics logo. Uh, he's labeled as adventurer. Uh, it seems like Lawson and Steve are responsible for this art and it looks insane. It looks really good. Now, one thing about Boss Fight Studios that I've heard a bunch about is they have collector friendly packaging, which means they can just flip up these plastic tabs, which are pretty loose. Like it doesn't feel that secure and slide out the plastic sheaf here with the card giving a little bio of Flash himself. Athlete gets trapped on Mongo, half fights Ming. Um, and then after that, you just take out the clamshell. And what we have is Flash himself with the Hero Hacks stand. <laughs> I think the Hero Hacks stand is pretty fun. You have four different posts just to make sure he's stable in any kind of action position, which is really cool. And Flash himself pops right out. Four inch scale Flash, let's see. Um, elbows, great. This one's a little bit stiff, but doable. Um, Head is on a nice post, swivels around, that's fine. Chest ab crunch kind of thing. Thigh swivel on both sides. Double jointed knees, that's fantastic. And then ankles are on a hinge, but they can kind of roll around, which is really cool. Now, one thing about this is that it only comes with the helmed Flash Gordon look. Now, this is meant to be the Alex Raymond version of Flash, but the actual helm wasn't very ubiquitous to Alex Raymond. He usually let Flash go off like just with the free flowing blonde hair, which I think is my preferred Flash Gordon look. The helm just isn't really. Now, I'm not saying it's not an iconic Flash look, a bunch of um different runs and uh, merchandise have that as his default look but it's it's kind of weird because like out of all the stuff alex raymond did very minimal was it in the helm uh and now i asked boss fight studios on their twitter and they mentioned that what they were going to do is that if there was enough interest in like a variant flash down the line they would that would be the free-flowing hair one and like 
I'm I hope that there's enough interest because like that's definitely my my version of Flash. So let's get him down on this post. See how well he fits on there. It's a very tight fit, honestly. You know what? Let's just try to stand him up there because like I don't think he's gonna be able to fit on that thing without really going all the way. Stands up fine. All right, let's get accessories out. First, he comes with this big broadsword, which is a bit weird because with both Flash and Ming, what Alex Raymond usually drew them with was like, you know, rapiers, like fencing, that whole thing. Um, so seeing like a broadsword, like this giant hilt, I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't scream very authentic, you know? These are both trigger hands on both sides. But it seems like there's enough leverage to work as a sword hand, but can they, it's a very tight grip. Let me see if I can get it like the old true and tried and true fashion way where you do the blade first to like open that up. There we go. Got sweet release there. And he has, like I said, good grip on it. Not going to fall out. His next accessory is, of course, his laser pistol. Or ray gun, as it were. Now, let's see if this is any easier. It has a flat end that we can just sort of wedge in there again. And I'm going to try to get his trigger finger in the actual trigger. There we go. We have him holding on to both of his main weapons. He comes with two other swapple hands, which are both punching fists, but like, I don't really care about those. Next up, we have Ming the Merciless. We're gonna get him right out and we're gonna see how he handles. So next up, we have Ming the Merciless himself, Emperor Tyrant of Mongo. And this is just so impressive. Like with Flash, Basic colors, basic pink design, very flat, not very intricate, but Ming is so ornate with so many paint applications, skin, facial hair, uh, jewelry, fabric, a uh, tunic, uh, the sash, it's it's insane. And there's basically no slop on this. Like there's some maybe little, little nudges and little like paint etchings here and there, paint rubs and all that. But other than that, like it's, it's such a great design and so impressively handled. It's, uh, I love it. It's amazing. Um, it does have a collar thing. So his head does have less range of motion than Flash does. But other than that, basically the same. Elbows, arms, double um, hinged knees, thighs, uh, thigh swivels, all that kind of stuff. And he comes with the same exact kind of accessories. The first of which being the same broadsword as Flash comes with, um, just with a different hilt color, gold instead of Flash's black. But again, it's not very accurate to the Alex Raymond stuff. Like they had like little fencing swords. It was very sort of a fantasy epic kind of thing, you know, like Robin Hood. Um, so it just looks weird. Looks too bulky for, for these characters. I don't really think I like it that much. Mink also comes with a ray gun, but rather than like put it in uh, to his hands like I did with Flash, I'm going to try to holster it on what is obviously the sword holster. Because while Flash comes with both holsters for his sword and his ray gun, Mink here only comes with a holster for his sword. Which is weird, like why give him that? I know it works better for design, looks more regal, but like uh, you don't really have the option to like store everything. And I, the reason I do that is because I'm going to swap out his second ripping trigger hand. Because unlike Flash who comes with just, I don't know, fairly pointed punching hands. Main comes with a secondary hand that's actually worth something and might be interesting to see. 
what Mink comes with is a pair of these sort of outstretched overlord hands, which is pretty easy to just snap on. And now you got him like sort of being like, ah, with his arms outstretched, ruling the Mongo. I love it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to try to put these two figures on these hero hack stands and uh, get them in an action pose. Now, what I noticed is that these uh, peg holes on the bottom of their feet are way too small for these actual pegs. So what happens and what ends up, you know, what you need to do is you're going to need to like really sort of grind them on there and it's going to shave off a couple of like millimeters of plastic on the bottom of that foot which is weird it's not really like a great fit you have to sort of like just drive it in and like carve out that plastic by grinding it and that's a bit disappointing honestly and now we have them both in what is basically their most iconic pose both of them like sword wielding dueling it's on basically every trade cover of any Flash Gordon collection of this era. And I'm so glad that they can do it. They both look at their swaying. Um, they have great range of motion. Make it look like this actually have a, a dynamic sense of like action going on here. And I love it. Um, again, swords, bulky, weird, doesn't really fit the aesthetic, but Overall, like these are some fantastic figures. They are pricey though, like 35 bucks each. That's including shipping and handling and all that. Um, but I, I think that if you're a giant fan of Flash Gordon, especially the original Golden Age Alex Raymond stuff, these can't be beat. Doing amazing work here. Um, I hope that the line, as it goes along, improves. There, are, there are things that can be improved on, like uh, just maybe a little bit more detail or at least more focused. Uh, accessories like again I'm not quite sure why these swords are the way they are or why he came with this helm that kind of stuff very minimal very minimal stuff like these are close to perfect as if I've ever seen it honestly like they're incredible now what they're doing is with this license they're going back and forth between the original comics era stuff and the 80s movie like they already announced uh, both kind of mixed match waves of Alex Raymond uh, inspired figures and movie inspired figures, which I think the next in the lineup is going to be Prince Baron based off of Timothy Dalton's performance in the 80s movie, which I pre-ordered. Now, like I said, I don't like the 80s movie that much. I enjoy it. I think it's okay. Not my favorite. But there are things in that movie that I feel like are so incredible, like Timothy Dalton's interpretation of Prince Baron. So I had to get that. And there's also other things where like we've seen previews of what they planned for action figures of the Alex Raymond era, like Prince Voltan of the Hawkmen, uh, who look just awful. Like, that's a really bad design for Prince Voltan. Um, but if they came up with a, with a uh, Brian Blessed Prince Voltan, uh, then yeah, sign me up. Pre ordered immediately, you know? Uh, so I'm gonna be mixing and matching there, even though I do love the Alex Raymond stuff, I'm not gonna be beholden to it buy this license buy this whole sort of branding uh because like you know these are incredible works and i'm gonna put the money where i feel they're gonna be best suited uh so yeah like i said great releases uh took a while to get them but definitely worth the wait great action figure artwork as well from lost in and steam let's see if there's something in the back that like gives their full names Yes, Lost in Wallace and Steve Downer. Uh, incredible. Again, it doesn't look like Alex Raymond artwork, but it does capture that big, pulpy action hero feel. So amazing. Uh, so if you had the money, like I said, these aren't cheap. Um, uh, so, you know, it says 12 and up, but like you're going to have disposable income to get these. But if you're a huge fan of Alex Raymond Flash Gordon and the Flash Gordon brand in general, then yes, totally jump on these. They're well worth it, honestly, um, for action figure collectors. Uh, they look so good. It looks so good. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you have any thoughts on the Flash Gordon line, Hero Hacks, Boss Fight Studios output in general, please comment below. 
Um, and like, subscribe, let me know what your thoughts are on these. Do you like Flash Gordon? Um, do you like this series? Are there any characters or Flash Gordon sublines that you would like to see in Boss Fight Studios handle, like the cartoon um, or that live action sci fi channel TV show? Um, let me know. And uh, thanks so much for listening. Have a great one out there, and see you again next time.